Well, we're really proud of the efforts of the USO and what they've done to uh, bring, you know, all that's in this facility and all the services that uh, we have from this day going forward. It's just an exciting day. The USO Alaska Center is traditional center in that it's the home away from home that the service members come to hang out, kick back in some comfortable recliners, blankets, pillows. They've got a cafe that they can enjoy snacks and refreshments. They have video games if they want to play Xbox One or PlayStation 4. Get on the computers, print, use the Wi-Fi, and the USO Wellness Center. The first USO Wellness Center of its kind where we've been able to put together brand new equipment, new flooring, bright, bright colors, a place that they want to feel good, they want to come back, get a great workout, enjoy it, and, and come back again every day. If you look at a map, you can just see how far away we are from the lower 48. Uh, and so the USO just ensures that we stay connected to you know home and family and country, and uh, we wouldn't have it any other way. We've actually had a presence in Alaska since 1941, and as they did traditionally shut down as the conflicts came to an end, one of the very first USO clubs in Alaska actually opened on February 12th, which is tomorrow, the day after our grand opening today. So it's really amazing that 75 years later, here we are now opening brand new centers with a permanent presence here to support the military community throughout Alaska.